Some rural property owners in Marion County are about 24 hours away from a decision that could lead to them running out of water. K2 Salem Bureau Chief Melika Johnson joins us live with details on the unusual Measure 37 claim and what lawmakers may do to fix the plan. Mel Dan, we introduced you to this story two weeks ago and property owners were hopeful that the claim would be denied. Tonight they aren't quite as optimistic as they wait for Marion County planners to make their ruling tomorrow night. Meanwhile, they hope state lawmakers take some action to keep others from going through what they have had to go through. It's starting to freeze. Brian and Laurel Hines are fighting a war they believe the state should wage. And if they don't do something soon, these kind of groundwater problems are going to be on us. The Hines and their rural neighbors are battling against a Measure 37 claim that threatens their water supply. If the claim is approved, 43 homes will be built in an area the county is tagged as having limited groundwater. Our creek might stop flowing, our, our lake might decrease in water, and our, our wells may go dry. Without any state laws defining Measure 37, the Hines are spending big bucks on attorney's fees trying to keep their water running. We're all affected, and yet we have to spend our money to try and solve the problem that the legislatures should solve. The legislature does plan to do something. Senator Floyd Prozonsky is chair of the Senate's Land Use Fairness Committee that will look at Measure 37 and decide if it needs more legal definition, possibly even freezing the measure temporarily. Basically taking a break and just looking at where we're at. Lawmakers will also look at how the measure was pitched to voters, whether they thought they were voting for landowners like Dorothy English, who wanted to build her family a home on her property. Many people who voted for 37 said they never intended to see the mass development. Senator Larry George, who co-chairs the Land Use Fairness Committee, says voters were clear at the ballot box. I don't think that there is a person in this building who really thinks the voters are going to change their mind on sense of fundamental issue is fairness. He says any information that the measure is eating up farm and forest land to development is hype. You seem to think that's hype? Yes. We were unsuccessful in reaching the spokesman for the property owner who has filed the Measure 37 claim here in Marion County. But in an earlier interview, he said the property owner would not go through with the claim if he felt there wouldn't be enough water for he or his neighbors. Live in Salem, Melika Johnson, K2 News. Also in Marion County, a woman